Don't forget to purchase your copy of my book, The Origin of Names, Words and Everything in Between, now available from Amazon. It's the spookiest time of the year. Well, more or less, but I'm away next week, so shush. And of course, with this time of year comes many conventions, from dressing up to trick-or-treating to watching horror movies. But of course, one of the most popular things to do at Halloween is grab a pumpkin, pull out all its insides, carve a face into it, and stick a candle in it. Perhaps that description didn't do it justice, but it's pretty darn fun. And it's way more than just faces that get carved into them. People can turn pumpkins into works of art. I, on the other hand, can make a pumpkin look as good as these videos do. Yet, the odd thing is the simple act of carving a face into a pumpkin makes the pumpkin change its name. That new name for the gourds being Jack O' Lantern. Jack O' Lantern has become such a common part of our language, especially during the Halloween season, that we can forget this name is rather odd. So where did it come from? Well, to understand the name, let's look at the history of these things. Jack O' Lanterns have Celtic root and came from Ireland. However, there's a slight issue here. Pumpkins don't grow in Ireland. In fact, it was only once the Irish settled in the Americas and brought their customs with them that pumpkins started started being used, as they were bigger and easier to carve. So what were the Irish carving? Well, they were carving turnips instead and put candles in them to ward off evil spirits. But of course, what about that name, Jack O' Lantern? Well, elements of it are easy to understand. Lantern makes sense as when we put a candle in a pumpkin, it becomes something of a lantern. And the O part is a shortening of of the, like we see in O'Clock, e.g. it's four of the clock when it's 4pm slash am. So we can decipher that this name means Jack of the Lantern. So this means we need to ask who was Jack? Well, we seem to have a couple ideas behind who Jack was. The answer is literally anyone or one specific person of Irish myth. What do I mean by literally anyone? Well, I mean the concept of Jack being a generic name given to men whose names were not known. The name Jack O'Lantern actually outdates the carved pumpkin slash turnips, originally being a name for Ignis Fatus, medieval Latin for foolish fire, which is the odd glowing light that can be seen sometimes over the lights of swamps and marshes. Ignis Fatus are also called jack-o'-lanterns, as we mentioned, and will-o'-wisps. The name is thought to have come from East England and spread over other parts of the British Isles. But what have odd flickering lights above marshes got to do with unknown named men being called Jack? Well, like I said, unknown named men were often simply called just Jack. So in the past, Jack was somewhat synonymous with just men. So if a random person in the distance could be seen with a lantern, e.g. the likes of a night watchman, that man of the lantern would become a Jack of the lantern, becoming jack o' lantern it seems this term of Jack for an anonymous person has ties in Britain with the spooky and scary. It was used for the name of the infamous never caught serial killer Jack the Ripper and the Victorian folklore character Spring Heel Jack. Like I said, there is another Jack O' Lantern, a mythical character who ties directly to the Jack O' Lanterns we know today. That Jack being Stingy Jack, the character of Irish mythology. The story goes that Stingy Jack was a drunk, mischievous man, pulling tricks on anyone, and I mean anyone. He was like the original YouTube prank channel, but somehow less annoying. He would prank his friends, his family and even the devil himself. One story goes that he tricked the devil into climbing an apple tree and once he was in the tree, Stingy Jack placed crosses around the base so the devil couldn't get down. Stingy Jack made the devil promise to not take his soul once he died, to which the devil agreed so Stingy Jack removed the crosses and let the devil go about his day. When Stingy Jack did eventually pass away, he was taken to the gates of heaven but was told he couldn't enter due to being so cruel on earth. When he went down to hell to be accepted there, the devil kept to his word and didn't let him in there either. With nowhere to rest his spirit, Stingy Jack was forced to wander the earth between life and death forever. The devil gave him an ember to help light his way which Stingy Jack proceeded to put in the turnip he was carrying around with him, turnips were a favour of his, to create a makeshift lantern. Thus Stingy Jack became the original Jack of the Lantern and where the tale of the Jack o' Lantern comes from to this day. That's the tale of why we call pumpkins with faces carved into them Jack o' Lanterns. But you know what? I'm still feeling pretty spooky, so let's look into the name of Halloween itself. We have the Scottish to thank for this name, and while Halloween has roots in the Christian All Hallow Tide, a lot of modern Halloween is from a Celtic holiday, which marks the end of the harvest season, and its timing coincides with Halloween. The Christian All Hallow Tide is a three-day celebration of remembering the dead and lost, starting on October 31st and ending on November 2nd. The last day of it, November 2nd, is All Souls Day, but we want to look at the days celebrated on November 1st and October 1st. 31st. The November 1st celebration is All Saints Day, also known as All Hallows Day, as Hallows is another word for saint, and it's to celebrate all the saints in Christianity. So the day before it, October 31st, is All Hallows Eve, in the same way we have Christmas Eve the day before Christmas Day. You have maybe heard Halloween referred to as All Hallows Eve, and it's from a contraction of this name we get the name we all know, Halloween. 
Thank you to all the awesome people who financially support Name Explain on Patreon. Name Explain depends on people like yourself who are kind enough to donate a small amount on a monthly basis. $2 gets your name here with all these awesome people, and trust me, that small amount of $2 goes a long way. Thank you, and happy Halloween.